There's no better motivation than someone telling you it can't be done, that you're wasting time, you're wasting money. Well, this is my time, my money. If it's something you love, it's not a waste. You do you, I'll do me. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Mike with Doomsday 410. Uh, before we get started on my reaction to subscriber rides, I want to show you guys a few bad things that have happened to the car recently. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. All right, man. So the first piece of carnage, um, this is my chin spoiler. You can see right here, it's got this big old chip out of it. Well, it's not that big, maybe about the size of a quarter in width. Um, got that trying to get on a lift. Uh, thought I had enough room and barely clipped this and knocked it off. Believe it or not, guys, um, this is a CDC Outlaw chin spooler. I got it from American Muscle. I love it. Fits great. Uh, this coating is actually Linex, like you have in the bed of a pickup truck. Um, I've seen a couple other people use it, but it's not too common. It's really durable, though, man. Uh, I was getting a lot of rock chips and stuff on the highway. Held up really well to that. Uh, did not hold up well to bang into the metal on a lift, uh, trying to ride up on it because the car's low. Uh, so this is off the car for right now because I got to take it back to the Line X guys and get them to patch that or respray it, whatever they got to do. So for right now, I've got my old chin spoiler on the car. That was a street scene. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you remember it. Uh, I was on there for a long time until I switched and went with this one. Uh, second piece of carnage, man. Guys, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, it's very common on these S550s with these clips inside of here to snap. Um, my front bumper or fascia, whatever you can call it, it's been off the car multiple times. I knew one of them was broken, but it looks like all three of them are broken now. You can see this gap here. Uh, stay tuned for next video, man. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix this thing. Uh, get it nice and tight. I'll get these lines cleaned up. Uh, that'll be a how-to video. Um, we'll get this fixed up, and whenever I get around to it, we'll get this chin spoiler back on the car. But for the time being, we're going to rock the old one. All right, so like I said, uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you guys how to fix the, the bumper latches that crack. It's very common on these S550s. Uh, but without rambling on anymore. Let's go ahead and check out these subscribers rides, man. We got some badass vehicles that were sent to me. So let's check them out. All right, so first we got Barry's 2014 Roush V6 P1SC Pro Charged car tuned by MPT. Barry bought the car with the P1SC in it. Gotta say, man, I'm a huge fan of the S197 body styles. I just think they're super aggressive and definitely a throwback to the uh, classic Mustangs. Uh, and they're a little lighter too, so I bet that car moves out. Uh, good looking car there, man. Now we got Matt's 2017 V6, also P1SC Pro Charge. Matt recently pulled down to a 3.70 pulley, so it should be putting in about 10 pounds of boost. He's also recently tuned by MPT. A uh, little jealous because Matt's got a GT350 bumper on the front, and I'm a huge fan of the GT350. Some shots here of uh, Matt having some fun in a car the way it was intended. Out in Mexico, of course. That's where we do these kind of things. Fantastic. And then the classic Pro Charger. Sounds like a garbage disposal, man, but that's the way they're supposed to sound. Uh, John's 2015 Roush RS V6, BBK headers, MPT tuned. A uh, cool thing about John's car is he has signatures under the hood from Jack Roush, Jack Roush Jr., and Jack's grandson, man. It's pretty cool. Uh, real good looking car there. Up next is Jack, a uh, YouTube channel determined veteran. He's got a 2018 Camaro ZL1, man. You can see him here in a dyno jet. Uh, you should check out his channel, man. He's putting out some serious horsepower in that car, and I believe he's still got a lot of play a lot playing for it. Up next, Dwayne, another Roush here. Uh, 2015 Roush RS V6 Phase 2 Upgrade. Any of you Roush guys out there, let me know down in the comments what that means. I, I don't know what a Phase 2 Upgrade is on a Roush. Uh, Good looking car, man. I love the magnetics. I think they look good in any light. Um, obviously biased. Same color as my car. Uh, Jason, 2016 V6, 
grill delete, Eibach lowering springs, 22 inch wheels on this car with a ducktail spoiler. Um, Jason, uh, I think I've seen your car around, man. So hit me up in the email or uh, Instagram or something because I'm pretty sure I've seen you driving around, man. I don't think we live far from each other. Up next, Will, amazing shot right there, man. Uh, 2016 V6, he's got some Borla S-type um, window scoops and, and Will is from Canada, man. So uh, thanks for joining in on the fun, Will. Last but not least, Brandon's 2016 V6 D1 SC Pro Charge car, making eight pounds of boost, also MPT tuned. Uh, he's got BBK long tube headers, uh, Borla attack axle backs, and if you want, Check him out on Instagram at underscore shuffle path. Uh, probably one of my favorite cars in this whole video, man. Just super clean, uh, done very well, top to bottom, inside and out. Great looking car, uh, sinister looking, man. They're black cars that are hard to keep clean, but man, when they're clean, they are gorgeous. That's it, guys. Amazing cars. Thanks for sending them. Mm -hmm.